Hey Sass Army, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chrissy and if you're new here on this channel, I create weekly tutorials to help others advance in their craft and also to help some get started. I have always been a crafter and an artist at heart. So on this channel, I have dedicated myself to drop weekly videos and tutorials for you guys. My videos drop every Sunday and occasionally I will drop a surprise video here and there. If you like what you see so far, then please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I create this holographic beach style tumbler. I was inspired to create these tumblers by a fellow artist I found here on YouTube. Her channel is C Brinley Artistry. I will be sure to link her down below in the description so that you can check her out and find videos that may inspire you. I love resin art and I love learning new techniques and watching all the fun videos. So if that sounds like something you're into, then you're definitely going to want to check her out. Without further ado, if you're interested in finding out how you can create a tumbler just like this one, then keep on watching and let's jump on in. All right, guys, so first thing I want to do is run through all the supplies that's going to be needed for this um, technique. And of course, you're going to need your tumbler. Now, I'm going to be using a 12 ounce skinny, which is this one right here. But if you want to go big, then you can use a 20 ounce. The second thing you are going to need is your vinyl. And the vinyl we're going to be using for this method is the Arteza holographic vinyl, which I purchased a couple weeks ago when they were running a sale. It comes with 16 sheets of holographic vinyl. And on the back here, you can see all the colors that's included. And their names. The one I'm going to be working with today is this beautiful orangey yellow sunset color vinyl. I believe this one is called Funky Orange A704. There are a couple of different colors in here that look very, very similar, but um, I believe that is what this one is called. Now, because I already created a regular beach themed tumbler, I wanted to create for you guys a sunset beach tumbler as well. So the technique is going to be exactly the same. I'm just going to be using a different color for today's video. You're going to need your alcohol, you're going to need your sandpaper because we still have to prep this tumbler. You're going to want to sand the base very, very good for this to make sure that there is an abrasive surface for the vinyl to adhere to. You don't have to spray paint. We're just going to sand and go straight in and lay our vinyl down. To help us lay and cut our vinyl down, you're going to need scissors, a ruler, your squeegee, and and a mat we're going to be adding glitter as well but for this part of the tutorial i'm just going to show you how to put on the holographic vinyl how to wrap it and then once we're ready to apply the glitter i will show you the color and all that that we're going to be using when we're ready to put this baby on the spinner this is a super simple and easy tutorial guys you're not going to believe how few steps it takes to create something so so beautiful so let's just hop on in right now let's get started i'm going to face the camera down so you guys can get a better angle and a better view of how to wrap your tumbler with this gorgeous holographic vinyl okay so in front of us we have the holographic vinyl that we're going to be using and i apologize about the reflection of my uh, camera, my phone, but you can see how shiny and how holographic this vinyl is. It is just so gorgeous. Oh, I cannot wait to get this on a tumbler. So first thing we're going to want to do is measure how much vinyl we are going to be needing to wrap this tumbler. All right, guys, so we have our piece of vinyl here that we're going to be using to wrap the tumbler. I've already sanded down the tumbler and uh, cleaned it off with soap and water and also spritzed it with alcohol. Um, now, this is a 12 by 6 piece of vinyl. 
Um, now, because we're going to be creating a beach, the bottom part of this tumbler is going to have glitter. So we don't need the full six inches of vinyl here. We only need about like four inches of the vinyl. And so because of this, I'm going to measure. Uh, let's flip this around so that I can see the lines here and then really kind of be able to gauge where I want that glitter to be. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of extra space here down at the bottom or I'm going to just bring it down a little bit further because I can always go on top of the holographic vinyl with the glitter, which is usually what I do. Um, so I'm going to cut right here at this line. Now we're going to be wrapping this tumbler and of course we're not going to really need the whole entire 12 inches but you do want to make sure that you give yourself um, extra room you don't want to have not enough vinyl so i'm going to cut off about an inch here just so that i know i have enough vinyl to wrap now this is the part where it gets a little bit tricky um, because this 12 ounce skinny does have a little bit of a taper on it. So you're going to see when I lay down the vinyl that the lines are not going to line up evenly. It's going to be a little bit uneven, but we're going to work with that and I'm going to show you how, how to get around that. So I'm just going to lay my vinyl down here. And if you saw how I folded the tab back, now I'm going to just pull the tab from under while smoothing out the vinyl on top. Just to make sure there aren't any air bubbles getting trapped under there. And you can see it's starting to go up in an angle because like I said before, um, this does have a slight taper. So I'm just slowly going in and wrapping that around. Okay, now here's where it gets a little bit tricky like I said before. Um, cause you can tell here that it didn't line up. Okay. But no worries. We are going to work that out. And I am just pressing my little squeegee into that line here. Okay. And you're going to need a sharp exacto knife and you're going to want to go really, really slowly along that line. So once you have the, that little vinyl cut off, I am going to take my X-Acto knife and just do a little bit of trimming here.
I know right now it's probably like, what is this girl doing? This is how I do it. You may be able to find a better technique that works for you. This is, this was all trial and error for me. Um, this is something that was inspired by a canvas artist that I saw. Um, I haven't seen a tumbler exactly like this one. There are a few videos out there on how to wrap your tumbler in a full vinyl sheet. Um, so if you want to check those out, I'm sure you can search and find that out. So I am just eyeballing this and just taking my exacto knife slowly around till it's as even as possible okay so here we have the line it's not perfect but it's pretty dang straight and it's good enough for me um, and like I said we're gonna be adding the glitter here and I'm gonna be taking it above the holographic vinyl anyways so this line down here doesn't really matter now, as you can see, we do have this vinyl, this excess vinyl here hanging out at the top um, and it, they do have a little bit of wrinkles. So I'm going to go in with my scissor and just trim kind of similar to what you would do with your fabric tumbler. So I'm just taking my scissor and angling it down just to trim off that excess. And so this is what we have so far. Now you can see the top is still kind of wrinkly. I'm gonna go in there and trim some more of the top. And once I've done that, I will be back for the next step. So I went in with my X-Acto knife and I trimmed up the top just a little bit, just to ensure that there's a slight lip here at the top. I want the uh, resin to cover the vinyl i don't want it to lay on top you don't want there to be any room left for resin to not seal the design completely in so um as you can see i have my line here um, it didn't line up all the way but don't worry about that because once you're done with the um, tumbler you're not going to be able to see any of these little slight imperfections we still have a couple of steps to do so let's move on over um, to the next step first thing is you're going to want to leave the vinyl on here just for a little bit so that it can cure onto the tumbler you don't want there um, to be any room for lifting or peeling up. So we're gonna let this sit for about an hour or two, and then we're gonna move on to the next step, which is bringing in our spinner, applying our glitters, and then going in with the, with the swirl. So um, I will see you guys in a little bit. Hopefully you're loving this so far. I know right now it probably seems um, a little bit crazy you're like where is she headed with this but don't worry it's going to tie into in together and it is going to be beautiful all right guys so we are back and i'm going to just show you what we're going to be needing for this part of the tutorial and i'm going to be using stevie and elvis for our glitter today um, and we're going to also go in with some pigment from um, amazon cast and craft we're gonna be adding in some alcohol inks and also a little bit of mica powder for some shimmer. You're gonna need your popsicle sticks, your mixing cups, your torch or heat gun, whichever you have. And you cannot forget your resin. The resin I use is by Counterculture DIY Artist Resin. I love this stuff, it's amazing. 
I will be sure to link everything that we're going to be using in this tutorial down below so that you guys can check out where to get it from. Um, just want to throw in a little disclaimer that this video is not sponsored by any of the companies named or shown in this video. Everything that is used is 100% purchased by me. So you're going to want to take your two part resin and uh, get equal amounts of part A and B into their separate mixing cups and then mix them together. So I'm going to just fast forward through this part, mixing my resin up really quick and then we'll go to the next part. If you want to see a video on how to mix resin, let me know and I'll make a separate video on that. All right, so now we are ready to apply our resin to the tumbler. We're gonna go in with just a little bit of resin. We're not gonna need the entire um, resin that we mixed for the base of this. We're gonna use probably about maybe three mLs in total for this tumbler, just to create a nice base to apply our glitter and to also ensure that there's enough uh, resin on the base for our swirl. We are going to go in with our first layer of swirl. A lot of people like to wait till after they apply the glitter. I like to do it now just for this tumbler um, because I want to layer my swirl uh, to give it more of a like 3D effect. Um, because we're doing a sunset beach, um, we're going to be using the swirl uh, kind of like clouds instead of waves like the other tumblers um, like I said before I'm doing a little bit of a different kind of style but the technique is the same so with the regular beach tumbler where I went in with the blue vinyl I just used the gold glitter for this one we're kind of creating a sunset beach so the vinyl is acting like the sunset so I'm gonna be laying down the Stevie gold glitter for the sand and then we'll go in with Elvis um, which is our blue glitter to uh, kind of be like what the water would be. And then we're gonna add our micas to the top portion of the holographic vinyl to create um, waves and clouds on there. Um, so if you were doing the regular beach tumbler, then you would just have your blue vinyl on top and your gold glitter on the bottom, but everything else is the same. So I'm just making sure that it's nice and even and there's enough resin all over the tumbler. Once I got that on, I'm going to start going in and applying the glitter. So you're going to want to separate your resin now. Whatever resin is left over in your cups, you're going to separate that into two um, little mixing cups. The reason for this is because you want one cup to have your white mixture and the second cup to have um, a mixture of an alcohol ink that matches closely to the base. So you can see here we're using Sun Bright Yellow to mix into the one half of resin that we split up. Um, this is going to just help tie everything in together. We're going to be mixing that in. You can see I'm splitting up the resin here now um, and putting half into one cup and half into the other. Uh, then I'll go ahead and mix up my white mixture, which is going to consist of the opaque pigment, the mica powder, and the alcohol inks. So we're getting that all mixed up here. I'm going to just quickly fast forward through. Um, I only used one drop of the opaque pigment. I used three drops of the alcohol inks, and I used a very, very small pinch of the mica powder for this. Um, put that all in there and mix it all up.
Now we're gonna go in with our glitter. I'm gonna start at the bottom with the lightest color we have, which is CV. I'm gonna just go in and start sprinkling that really just lightly down at the bottom, just gauging where I want my sand to be, how far up I want it to go. I don't wanna go crazy um, adding too much gold. I want there to be a, an even amount of sand and an even amount of water as well. So you're going to see I'm just going to go in with the gold, shake that on, and then we'll go in with um, the Elvis, which is the blue, and sprinkle that on top. So now that we have our gold laid down, we're gonna go in with Elvis. Um, like I stated before, it's a beautiful metallic blue glitter. I love using metallic glitters for this. You definitely want um, super high coverage. If you go in with iridescent on a tumbler like this, you're going to see everything underneath. So you do wanna make sure that you're using a metallic high coverage color um, for this because you see with the blue, I'm going in between the gold and the vinyl, but I am gonna be going slightly over that vinyl line to hide that. Um, and you cannot see anything underneath once we've add the glitter. Now that we got our glitter base laid down, I'm gonna mix up my alcohol ink for the top portion. So I went in with about three drops of the sun bright yellow, mix that into the resin, and then I'm gonna string it over the top just to create a base for the white and the yellow to kind of blend in together. So you can see it's super, super translucent. I'm not trying to create an opaque color when I'm going in over the holographic. The reason for me using the holographic vinyl is I really wanted to be the show, the showstopper of this piece, of this type of tumbler. And so I wanted to be able to go in with a similar color that was super translucent so that the holographic can still show through. Um, and so if you were doing the regular beach tumbler, you would go in with a blue alcohol ink. I like to use either Mermaid or um, Stream and really just go in with one drop so that it's super translucent and do the same exact steps. So whether or not you were using purple, blue, yellow, red, you want to try and match your alcohol ink to the color vinyl that you're going to be using. And so you can see I'm just stringing it along uh, like you would any other beach or swirl tumbler. And now I'm going in with the white mixture that we have here. And I'm just going really just across, no rhyme or reason right now, just stringing it along just to create that base for the clouds and the waves. Um, I'm not going down through the water just yet. I'm really just focusing that white onto the top. And I did string a little bit of the blue along there um, just to blend in that line a little bit. But um, we will add more waves in the next step. Once this is all cured and, and done, we're going to go in with some more white. Now that I got that down, you can see it's not really swirling around that much. I didn't really put a heavy coat of resin on here. So I'm going to just go in with my torch, pop any micro bubbles that I might see. Be careful not to go too close. You don't want to burn your resin. Um, I did get a little bit too close there. Um, but, uh, you know, just be careful when you're heating up your resin. I just wanted to get it moving a little bit more than what it was doing. So if you want more movement, add more resin. Um, I didn't want to add too much resin because, again, I was using this same resin layer as an adhesive for my glitter, and I didn't want the glitter to move that much. So I did keep it um, pretty thin. 
Um, now that I got that heated up, I'm going back in with that yellow uh, sunburst mixture there. Um, and just gonna go back and forth with the two white and yellows just to get that flowing. So now that I got my base down with the yellow and the white, it wasn't really moving as much as I wanted it to move. Um, I like kind of manipulating things with my fingers. So I just decided to just go in and start moving around that alcohol ink and that white mixture, just kind of smearing it and blending it in with my finger. With that, whatever excess was on my finger, just wiped it down. Um, and just started playing with the movement and how I personally wanted it to look. Um, so this part, you can use your creative mind, really just go in and figure out the type of look you're going for, whether you want the swirls to kind of do their own thing or you want it more of a swipe look like what I'm doing here now. Um, you know, you are the creator, you are the artist, you control what your piece is going to look like. This is all about having fun. This is all about learning new things or learning new techniques. So you can take what you like about this tutorial, make it your own, apply your own techniques and your own ways of doing things and really just come up with something absolutely beautiful. Going in back and forth now with some more of that yellow alcohol ink um, and once I apply that I'm really just going to let this cure and set um, overnight. This is going to spin for a few more hours, um, about four hours before I'll stop the turner and then just let it cure overnight. Um, tomorrow I'll come back in, put another layer of resin over the entire tumbler again, and then I'll add some more white to really tie that in together. Um, but that's pretty much it for this step in the tutorial. Um, like I said before, you can really just play with this top part, um, make it your own, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next step when we're ready to apply the resin and some more clouds and waves. All right, guys, so talk to you in a little bit. All right, guys, so we are back and ready for the third step in this tutorial, which is the uh, second layer of resin with another layer of waves and clouds. So as you can see, I've already separated my parts A and B, and I'm going to mix those two together um, and then separate that in half to create another white mixture for our waves. So I'm going to just quickly fast forward through all of this for the sake of time for this video. Um, so let's just jump ahead to the next step. So I went ahead and mixed up the mixture and applied the resin all over the tumbler. I covered the glitter and the entire tumbler. Now I am splitting up my resin in two. So whatever was left um, after I applied to the tumbler, I split that into one of them I'm going to keep just plain resin and then the other one I'm going to go in with our white mixture. This time I am not going to include the mica powder. I am just using the alcohol ink um, and our pigment, white pigment. Um, I'm going to do that to help me create more of waves over the blue part of the tumbler, which is where the water is on this. Um, and you'll see here how much I mix and how I apply it onto the tumbler.
So now that we have that mixture all ready to go, you can see that I'm just going to string that along the blue area of the tumbler, which is the water part of our beach here. Um, just stringing it until I'm satisfied with the placement of the white for our waves. Um, once I get that on, I'm gonna just heat it up with the heat gun and then apply that all over the tumbler. So now that I have the white where I want it so far, I'm gonna go in with the heat gun just to warm that up, get it moving, um, try and push it along upwards towards the top of the tumbler to try to create that wave effect. Um, so I'm just gonna be playing with that um, in this part of the video. You'll see that I just go back and forth between applying my white, heating it up, and then I do like to manipulate it a little bit with my fingers as well. So that's pretty much it for this part of the tutorial. Right now I'm just going to go in with my fingers and manipulate and move around and blend that pigment in. You guys know I love to do that. I've done it before um, in my previous videos when it comes to swirls. But yeah, that's pretty much it. After this point, after I've blended it to where I like it, we will just let it spin and cure. And then all you need to do is just seal that all in with another layer of resin. You can add a decal, a phrase, a name, and then go in with your final layer of resin and that will be it. So I'm going to just fast forward through this part of the video again, just so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing quickly. And then I will hop on to show you guys the finished look or what it looks like once it's fully cured um, so i'll see you guys in a little bit enjoy the rest of this video and i'll be right back all right guys so that's it for the tutorial i'm really excited how it came out wanted to show you guys what the final tumbler look like now that it's all cured i'm super happy with how it looks um, and hopefully you guys can see that really well i know there's a little bit of glare but i did go in and add my name just to give a, you guys a little bit of an example of um, what you can add to these some people leave them blank some people like to add names quotes whatever the case may be so that's just a little example of how that looks all together um, and i hope you found this tutorial fun i hope you found it easy to follow and i hope you found it unique i haven't seen a tumbler quite like this one there are tons of beach tutorials and different ways to do beaches but i haven't really seen one like this wrapped in holographic vinyl so hopefully this is something that you guys would love to put your little spin on or maybe recreate and if so i would love for you guys to join me over in my facebook group um, I will have that linked down below for you guys to join if you want to join me and yeah that's pretty much it um, so thank you for being here if you didn't know we have videos that drop every Sunday but I have so many things planned for the upcoming weeks I do actually have some videos planned that may come more often than just on Sunday like bonus videos but think 
Independence Day. Think summer, beachy, just fun, bright, really unique tutorials that I am looking forward to bringing you. I also hope that you guys enjoy the new backdrop. I wanted to make it fun and fit me. I love all things colors. I love fun, unique, bright. So hopefully that is something that you guys love to see. And if so, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit that notification bell so you do not miss our videos when we upload them. Thank you guys so much again for watching. My name is Chrissy and until next time, mwah.